What's up, people? What is going on? Man, today's been a day. You guys, you guys, some of you guys saw some of the uh, the shenanigans earlier where I, you know, actually put a clip. That was no big deal. I actually put a clip of me testing all this equipment. Man, that just went down a rabbit hole. Stuff would work and then it wouldn't work. And, you know, one of those days. But, you know, we are where we are now. Um, I still want to have a giveaway. I have the bottle here. But I still got to put all the, you know, some of the names in the... Uh, and the little spinny wheel thing, so I may have to push that one. Maybe, maybe have to push it, just because it's a it's a chore to to put that stuff in during a live stream. But we, maybe, maybe Mrs. Badax will jump out here. And do, maybe we'll just do it uh, another way. We should just enter them real quick on something. We we'll just hold it up. Maybe, maybe. You guys hear me all right? I hope. Right on. Right on, right on, right on. Good, 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 good. All right. Looks good, looks good. All right, so hey, I got, tonight we're going to do, or today, we're doing a Texas whiskey blind. Good Texas whiskey blind. Got some uh, Rebecca Creek. All from Texas, right? TX, Rebecca Creek, right outside of uh, San Antonio. San Antonio, Fort Collins area, right? there. TX. Uh, Iron Roof. Man, that's up north of... Uh, uh, man, I keep wanting to say Fort Collins. Not Fort Collins. That's Colorado. Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Uh, um, Bent. Louisville. This is weeded. This is blended. This is a double barrel bourbon whiskey finish in Spanish oak. And of course, gotta have this baby in here. Right now, right? The uh, still Austin cast strength Nancy Fraley pick. Gotta have that yet. Rebecca Creek. Gotta get your hands on some of that, fellas. Got to. Got to. It is. Delicious. These two, I mean, I already know these two are delicious, but you know, I haven't had them in, in a minute. So that's why I got them in, in the blind. I almost, I wanted to have some, I know a few days ago before I went back to work, but I held off because I was thinking about possibly doing the, uh, a blind like this of Texas whiskey because Texas whiskey gets a lot of crap. And, uh, it's, I would say mainly due to, uh, Garrison brothers not being awesome and being way overpriced and it just is what it is right it's i have a sample of cowboy i mean i should have put that in here that uh, dave vogel song uh vogel saying gave me i maybe i should have had that in here but but i don't uh i just put the bottles in here but you know we'll, we'll see we'll see so i haven't tasted that one yet but uh I haven't had a Garrison Brothers. I haven't tasted that one yet, though. I haven't had one that I like. Uh, Bourbon Note guys, uh, Ben and Greg, they sent me some Balmorea. And I. it's funny about that. I didn't not like it. <laughs> but I didn't like it either. It was it was just meh. And we know prices of these things. The, Texas, the Garrison Brothers is so overpriced for what it is. I mean, I know the youth over on, you know, in Texas, they get the youth going, they get the, the, the weather with the barrel expansion and contraction very quickly, you know. But we get some of that here in the, in the, in the valley here in California. They may have a little bit more humidity there where they are, but still. Yeah, we got Corbin Cash in the valley, people. And we know what that's about, Corbin Cash. Oh, man, I can't wait for the uh, 2290 pick to come out, or picks to come out. Ooh, man, I mean, I've tasted, I've tasted them, people. They're absolutely incredibly delicious. The bourbon and the rye, incredible. Both, both hazmat and ones. Is, the bourbon is, it may be 150 once they bottle it. They're both over 140, for sure. So let me see here. Got Raider Dave, what's up? Woo, Raider Dave in the house. 
Try to drag this over a little bit. Help. There we go. Get some stuff going on over here. Raider Dave in the house. What's up, man? Cheers. Cheers. And you, you know what? I'm going to. Let's see here. Maybe have Mrs. Badass grab me something here. No, I'll be right back. Just gonna, just gonna grab a Glenn real quick, people. He's probably still here. Mrs. Brad and Glenn. In the other room there and go in the house grab a blend so i can get started with this right here you guys know me i got this uh soft spot for this pendleton midnight the midnight people the midnight not just regular pendleton yeah meh at 80 proof it's the i don't know what it is with the well i know what it is it's that finishing brandy barrels and and 10 more proof i know it's still only 90 proof but with finishing the brandy barrels with that 10 more proof, it gives a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. So it's some some good stuff right here. So I'm gonna sip on that right quick. Ooh, what got it here? Ah, that Bad Axe Infinity Barrel, Bad Axe Benchmark Infinity Barrel's coming around. Coming around. So I got all these pour already, or Mrs. Bad Axe got all these pour already. Man, I guess. Yeah, a couple of those got some color, people. A couple of them got some color in there. Man, I'm, I'm having fun already. What are you guys sipping on? Are you guys sipping on anything? I know this is early today, but I know like Bourbon Ranch and, and Sean and Whiskey Wars, you know, Trev and Sean, they go uh, a little bit later tonight. So I want to get ahead of them. I'm not trying to. Oh, oh, we got a guy in here. He might be coming in. Hopefully he sticks around. We got to, might have Dirty RC Bar. Rick Cruz coming in here. So we might have to pour some more of these right here. He might have to entertain you while I go grab some more Glens and get this thing going. I, 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 I'm having to get a bit. Hey, when he gets in here, I'm going to take this thing off and see... If you can hear us both from the same microphone, it seems to have worked before. And if he's going to be here, I'll bring this thing down right here. Yeah, let me put this down over here. Right. Oh, oh. Yeah. Wood chips everywhere around here, people. Wood chips. Get this thing started. We're all, man. Excited. We are having some fun, man. Dark lit, huh? Dude, hey. oh, dude, man. You know what? What? Okay, yeah, yeah. I got it right here. I got it right here. It's right, it's right here. Yeah, man. I would mean, got you. Issues. You live, you live? Yeah, I'm live, man. Right on. You got Dirty RC right there, peeps. What's up, everybody? Got some stuff here, man. Oh, yeah, he hooked me up. Oh, dude, he hooked me Soon. up. Look at this. What was this, like 25 bucks? 24 I think. 24 yeah. at a grocery store, right? In your this store pick. Single store barrel pick. Store pick. Single barrel store pick. Look at that. Single barrel, sto barrel store pick of seventeen ninety two. This guy hooked me up yesterday. I was That's, at work. Yeah, it was good. It was a good find, man. Oh, oh my goodness, goodness, dude. And what? Okay. And now, what'd you get? Uh, I don't remember getting anything. Go right here. You stick around for a while. For a while. Yeah. I'll okay. Here. I'll be here for a bit. Okay. okay. All right, well, then you can hit this blind with me if you're up for I'll, that. I'll, I'll do a pour or two. Okay. okay. I mean, I do, I mean, I do all of them. Okay. All right, all right. So I'm going to, I'm blind. So you can, uh, this is going to be, see which ones you like. This is guarantee we're going to pick out still Austin. Well, so still and Rebecca. I, I can, I mean, I'm looking over there. I'm like, I could, I'm just looking at them over there. Oh, you got them right here. Okay. Yeah, they're right there. Oh, did she, she did those for you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And they're so all I'll, just, I'll just do a pour and. Okay. I'll do a couple pours. So I don't need to do them blind. You do, okay. you do them blind. Okay. Okay. You can BS with me. Uh, I'll, get Glenn. I'll get some Glenn. There's Glenn. Yeah, at least in this one. Yeah. Yeah. You know where the refrigerator is in there, yeah, that little mini fridge, sure. beverage fridge, They're right in the, uh, to the left of that, underneath there. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Let me get this going. Oh, Peter White in the house, Piper John. Oh, my God. Oh, people are climbing in here. Man, I got to scroll this thing. P 
Peter White, what is up? Going on? Yes, sir. Piper John in the house. All you bad axe people right there. Raider Dave. Oh, uh, you know what? No Balcony. Oh my gosh, Raider Dave, man. That's another one, dude. I just couldn't do it. I mean, uh, I went to the distillery. I don't know if you saw that video or not. It was one of my Texas videos when we went to go see our oh, right here, proud dad, right here, proud dad. Here we go. My kid, Airman Bone in there. So uh we went to the Balcones Distillery, dude, and my favorite thing there was probably the rum. It was harsh, man. And I know they, yeah, single malts is what they specialize in. And I mean, I'm not a huge single malt guy, not yet. I mean, I'm getting into light whiskeys and all that. But, I, man, I, I, I haven't had a Balcones that I've gone like, dang, I like that. Well, the closest I've gotten to... Uh, Liking about Coney so far is uh, is their rum, cast strength rum. I'm like, eh. put this over here. That guy. Oh, yeah, he goes straight for it. He, he goes straight for that. Okay, so I think that's the highest. Between that and this, that's jumping straight to the top here. The highest proof. So, okay, I'm sipping on this guy right here. Just get warmed up. I got to do... I can do some of I took I took vacation today. So Is I, it really? So I can drink on the middle of the day on Friday. Ooh, vacation day. Oh yeah. Well, All right. Well, I don't want to hold on to this stuff. I haven't I haven't hit the axe yet, man. Oh boy. There we go. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Yeah! Here we go. Oh, here we go. Knocked over to 2XO, man. Gotta protect the beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Still Austin and Rebecca Creek. Oh, man. This is American Oak Ring Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, people. $24.99. I got that same one. I probably paid double that Goodness. a long time ago. Goodness, man. This is my first 2XO of that one. Oh. Now. Yeah. I don't know what What's I on did. Here? I don't even know what I did with my. Uh, it's a little earlier, so you got it is folks early. on. It is, it is early, so <clears throat> I know that people. I know people will be straggling, straggling in. So we got we got thirteen in here, man. Raider, right now, Raider Dave is like I'm about the balconies. He is, man. He is about the balconies. Peter Dom, Peter Dom, Dom, White, Carl, Carl's on Castle, Jeff Castle, Peter White. All right, Keith, what's up, Keith? Hope you staying safe, brother. Haven't seen Chris in a while. We gotta, find, we gotta find Chris. Yeah, Chris Jenkins. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen anyone seen Chris Jenkins in a while. Old fashioned ways in the house too, man. Yeah. Okay. You oh, under wow. you, you understand. Okay, Dave. You, at least you understand, man. You understand. Now, it's I guess take it. It's single malts are a whole different animal, man. And I, but I do. You saw the video, so you understand that I. I really do like, and I do own the twice barrel, the limited edition of a uh, Jack Daniels. That's really good. A single malt. Not bad. Ooh. Yeah. Totally agree. Man, I just screwed up. I don't know which ones I poured. So now I'm technically doing a blind between Rebecca Creek <laughs> and Still Austin. You're doing a blind that you won't know the answer to. Oh, you'll probably will. I mean, I don't you'll, know. Be, you'll be able, we'll no, be able I to. I can't tell by the nose. One's very different. All right. I'm, I'm going to warm up on this name. Mm. Jeff Castle says, yeah, you're 50 bucks when it came out. Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a ton of them in Sacramento. So anybody that's in yeah. Sacramento... Um, just message me and I'll tell you where to tell you where to go. Yeah. Did you see the uh, did you see the thumbnail I put out for this? I did. So I didn't the blue one? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know if you were coming or not. So no, it sounds good, man. I said a po possible guest and I had a logo on there <laughs> kind of faded. <laughs> oh, it's, 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 well, I didn't see that part. No, 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 I missed see, the I missed the oh, logo. You go, oh, I'll check it out. I'll Your logo goes over there, but it's kind of it's like you could kind of see through it. Okay, it's right, right there. It's very like, transparent. I don't know if he's coming. Right? He had stuff going on. I know he's he's wounded. Yeah, you got you got. Gotta, I don't gotta, know if it's a wing, but <laughs> it was a stem, right? Stem, yeah, stem, yeah, busted yeah, stem. Busted stem. <clears throat> so he, hey, Man, he's here. His nose is awesome. Man. As long as he can stand it, he'll be here. But he's got, he's got to take care of himself too. Oh, how can I get a hold of you, Rick? Uh, uh, you get Instagram or uh, or email uh, the Dirty RC Bar Patreon email. too. You're both in Patreon. Yeah, oh, my, yeah, on my yeah. Patreon too. Yeah. So there's also that. But Instagram, you can directly go to him. I'm messing up your blind here. I'm moving all these. It's, dude, it's all right. There's numbers on the bottom. The colors don't really. Are, there's colors on the bottom on the numbers. I need to figure this but out. 
the colors on the bottom of the bottles, as well as those glasses I have over there. It just goes but, to show that Glens do the job better because they smell totally yeah. different out of the bottle oh, than yeah. they do in a Glen. Man, that's insane. <laughs> <sighs> Pissed I mixed those up. Okay, dude, I just, I just no, generally I mean, wanted to sip them. Let's see here. Oh, I bet you that's, yeah, I'm going to You think so? Oh, dude, I don't know. It's tough. That, yeah, that one's. This one smells like it's got more ethanol in it. Well, this one so, smells like it's got. It's a, got a great nose. Yeah. All right, I'm going. What do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> Back and forth. <laughs> hmm. It's kind of but, kind of bland. Kind of kind of bland. But I mean, there's buffalo trace. So what do you expect? <laughs> You're not bringing out Buffalo Trace to a Texas party. Come on now. No well, that. well, I bring, brought something close. It's just it's just warm enough. Oh, hey, did you get your microphone thing figured out? Can people hear you? Uh, yeah. If you guys, you know, if you, if you couldn't hear me, I'd, I'd know it by now. <clears throat> I got that figured out. But then it stopped working again because I did. I turned everything off, updated yeah. everything. Then all of a sudden it wasn't listed again. And I had to go find, make it pop up again. Then, uh, then the, then the cameras weren't working. Uh, Couldn't get yes. those to work. So I got a backup going. Hey, back if this, uh, so we got our 4K going right now. But uh, if that pauses or you know freezes or whatever, just hold on. It'll it'll only be a minute. Not maybe not even a minute. I got a backup camera right there. I learned my lesson on that. That happened like two or three times in a row. I, I wanted to get oh, that is stuff. It, is that a new phone? No, it just didn't have the case on it. Oh, it looks sexy. Oh man, not, uh, this guy's got the sexy phone. He's got the new stuff going. Yeah, it broke my old stuff. Did you break it? Oh, dude, you stomp on it? No. You know, it's it's a long story. Uh, this is the this is the blend. <clears throat> this is the uh, the blended whiskey. It's eighty two proof. So here we go, proof. So we got we got one twenty eight. One twenty eight. This is the Wreck and Creek double barrel bourbon whiskey, Spanish oak finish, one hundred twenty eight proof. 82 proof on the blended whiskey. We got the there's a 120 still Austin baby still Austin uh, Nancy Fraley pick that you can only get at the distillery uh, from uh, still Austin cast rank this 122 proof. This uh, when I had it, I think I opened it up on a live. I was not impressed at all. It was like old bag of seaweed or something. <laughs> Dude, I was just about to take a <laughs> Dude, Sorry. Oh, man. Old bag, because we carry around new bags of seaweed all the time. So this is an old bag old bag of seaweed. Which was the boats and nose? That's this one, dude. You oh, guys, really? You that was, that was a, at boats, least a Boats and right hose? Oh, yeah, no, 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 boats, yeah, boats and hose. Boats and nose. Yeah. So nose, a nose of boats? What was, yeah, what you yeah, call yeah it? she said it was, a, it was like an old, smelled like an old boat. An old boat. Because like, her dad, she grew up on boats, you know. You know oh, we were talking about the Woody's. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Old the boats. speed boat. You know, like James Bond type boat. You know, like cool boats. So this is the Iron Root uh, Harbinger uh, 120.8 proof. Uh, store pick from Specs out of Texas. Was not impressed. It was, like I said, old bag of seaweed. So this is unbent, blend, uh, unbent, blended, unblended, straight Wheat whiskey. So this is the only weeder right here. And this is one, 100 proof. This is bottle and bond right here. From Bent Distillery. It's that. Oh, okay. I don't know how to shut it off. <clears throat> so so there's that. So that's what. And they're all from Texas. So that's why they're here. I had a few more. I'm like, man, I was stretching to be able to do five. I mean, I mean five is going to be a lot. Bottle and bond. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. Well, that was, that was the my favorite one of the ones I had there. They had a whole lineup of of yeah. that four ball and bond yeah. uh, lineup, a, a rye, a weird. Yeah. Uh, and and why is Milam not here? Milam agreed. Oh, I, don't, I don't know how she owned Milam. Oh, I should have brought one, bro. You could, you could, I thought yeah. about it. I didn't know if you were coming. Man. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Now, is that, is it triple cask? Is that the one you have? Or uh, the other one? I think I've got the, it's the burgundy one. I think it's a, is okay. it a very, very small batch or it's yeah, a triple very, Yeah, small batch. One of the two. Small batch or very small batch. The triple triple I, cask I, is the uh, greenish. I thought I ordered a Gucci one, but I might have canceled the order. I don't remember. Anyways. Um, and that's good. This is a, the yeah. Texas. That's the one you just tasted. No, this one right here. This is great. Just oh, Pendleton. Just to start, dude. This is my. You know, you that's got, my closet. You, one, you got dude. me onto that. I'm not a Canadian whiskey. I'm not either, that, dude. dude. Like people, hearts are breaking all over the world, but saying that you know Canadian whiskey is just okay. But I just don't love the the flavor. I think I, too much Crown when I was younger. You know. Yeah. Crown yeah. killed it. Yeah. Crown so, killed it. Hey, I I get that. 
It's just but like, this one with the ten more proof and the finishing brandy barrels. That's got to be what's doing it. I mean, it's it's easy sip age. Take a take a swig and for, for a sure. starter, whatever. It's good. All right, I'm gonna kill this sucker. Man, I got these right. Man, I can't believe, dude. It was like set these these right here, seventy one dollars total, right here. This guy. Oh, dude, and our friend Scooter. Yeah, no doubt. Scott Henderson, man, he's man, he's up and coming, dude. He's he all is. around. He's rapidly. I mean, I'd be surprised if he doesn't have a Patreon soon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, he's he's, he's rap it. rapidly uh, gonna surpass my collection. He's getting just all bangers. Well, well he has and, us and to tell him what to buy and not buy. But he should, he should like pump the brakes and just filter so he doesn't waste money. I mean, it's funny because <laughs> the whole thing with that Weller store pick that we did the other night. Yeah. Um, whatever that was, the whole idea behind that is like sharing that. So everybody knows, Hey, we tasted three mm -hmm. barrels. One barrel was okay. The other barrel was just no, thank you. I don't even want it. It was bitter. And the one barrel was bomb.com. It was delicious. Yeah. So 30, right? and yeah. And then that's what we recommended and that's what they're going with. So now the cool part about that is that sharing that now gives everybody that's interested in that yeah. Weller foolproof. Like there's, we vouched for it. They, yeah. You're not going to waste your money. If you're in the area, and he delivers. I yeah. just I don't know what states he delivers to or, or if he delivers out of state. A but. few, yeah. But the whole idea is you're not going to waste your money. Yeah. Like, it's a sure thing. Yeah. So that's, I think that's where it adds value. And when it, when it, when it comes mm -hmm. out, if, you, if you're in a state that he doesn't deliver to, you know, talk to us. We'll we'll try to make it happen for you. So uh, let me see here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start grabbing this. Yeah, I'll, do, I'll, uh, I'll put this one up here. Cool. You good? You good? You good? All right. You want? You want some more? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You put them. I have. You know, you, no, I don't, I don't know order, what. Right? I don't okay. know what order they're in. You Piper John, you're right. That's smart. You guys hoard the good stuff. I like it. So I told uh, I told my brother Robert in Texas this morning. I'm like, you got to go after Rebecca Creek. Did you? Yeah. And then there was something else I told him about in Texas. Um, what was it? It's Specs. You're talking about Specs. Yeah, oh, so yeah, Rebecca Creek. Um, what else? What else? What else? Were we talking about it? But have we been talking about it? You and I have been. Yeah. So, and, and I, I asked my and, green. and I asked uh, my bonus son, though. Um, Austin, see if he can go by. You know, either Specs or Heb. Heb. Oh yeah. H E B. I've never been there. Either. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they do. Actually, I don't know. No, I, they don't do liquor in the grocery store. Specs is a liquor nope. store. That's right. Yeah, it has to be right. <clears throat> That's right. It has to be. Okay. She, okay. So Peter White's Canadian. So. Should not lump all into one calorie. That's that's not what it is. <laughs> all right. I see you. I see you, Peter. Peter I, I, see I stand corrected. You're I right. You. I don't like to just, generalize. But, see, I, I but he be, does it all the time. Get out of here. He doesn't like it, but he's, he does here. it very well. The the uh, I, I was giving credit to the Pendleton. <laughs> the Pendleton Midnight <laughs> no, is, is good. I love, man, I, that is, that's my, that might be my closet pour right there. Yeah. That Pendleton Midnight, dude. I don't know. It's, it's just something that's it's super easy. It's inexpensive. It's like 25 to 27 bucks. And it's, I mean, regular Pendleton is, I mean, I can mix it probably, but it's, it's so it's, you better drink it fast because it's only 80 proof, right? Yeah. All right. I'm going to start doing this right here. You're going to really get into it, huh? Oh yeah. I'm the getting nose. into this sucker right now. The, the nose, the nose. Just get in there. Okay. Okay. And get your Use it like man. a Kleenex. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what's Piper John saying? Because Canadians keep all the good stuff at home. <laughs> we get the drags down here. Yeah, maybe. That's true. All right. Let me sip this one here. I don't know. Should I go? I haven't done. Should I go nose on all of them first? I think I know what you're holding. Oh, you know what? I might be wrong. There's, yeah. There's three yeah. of them that are definitely <laughs> yeah, darker. Yeah, than, yeah. No like doubt. Darker no doubt. than the other two. Yeah. Whew. Man, that smells good. All right, let me, let me get a quick nose on all of them. Not much of a nose there. It's kind of stale, kind of cardboardy. Is it too early for anybody on this to be oh. sipping? You guys sipping on anything? What do you guys oh sipping on? Oh, my gosh, that's terrible. Which one, this one? Yeah, yeah this goodness. One. That's mm. super young and it's just like wet green wood. That's what that smells like, wet green oh. wood. oh. Oh, that was rough. <laughs> oh, man. 
That's living up to the bad Texas right there. Yeah, I'm not. I Listen, I'm from right. Texas. <laughs> Texas is my home. I happen to live in California. I love, I love Texas, but I do not love Texas whiskey. Oh, um, gosh. Dang, dude, I, know. I love Still Austin. Oh, it's like green. And Rebecca Creek. Yeah, me too. Just like green wood with sh- sugar. <laughs> We're going to add that to Mrs. Green, Bad Green you know. wood with so, sugar. Green boat, sugar wood. Boat noses. Boat and, noses and, and, green and, sugar and wood. Green sugar wood. And a bag of old you guys, seaweed. You guys ever had like a like notes of microchips in the past? <laughs> my, my, you know, there you like, go. Micro, microchips. Uh, oh, that, this one is oh, not. Right on. This one's not great either. Carl sipping on some Pendleton Midnight. Let's see here. This is like, smells like baby aspirin. Bare baby aspirin. Yeah, it does. All right, Carl, what do you think, man? Where where'd you get? Did you get it when you were down for the uh the Corbin Cash Bad Axe uh pick tasting last week? Last weekend? Dude, that smells like baby aspirin. Smells medicinal. Hey Peter. Well, what up? Uh, I haven't had Alberta Alberta Premium. So it said Pendleton's the one of the is one of the worst variations about Alberta Premium in the, on the market. That's good too. Do you like That's Alberta amazing. Premium? The two ends are good. I'd like to hear about that. All right. Going going into sipping. <clears throat> oh, that's good. Oh, that's some heat. Oh, yeah. This one I'm giving away right here. This is a NorCal. It's a 375 Buffalo Trace single barrel uh, NorCal liquor pick. Delicious. That is, at least in memory, I've had... A so, couple. Re- repeat that again. I just wait, 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 repeat what you said. Here. Of of Buffalo Trace products, we got to quantify it. Qualify it. Here we go. Qualify it. It is still Buffalo Trace. <laughs> <laughs> but of of this Buffalo Trace single barrel store picks that I've had, like that, I, I think I'm going to take that one in my for the first spot, and then probably the uh, Dry Creek. I had a Dry yeah. Creek store pick. That one probably next. Producers here. Got the Mrs. producer in the house. with her beautiful. We were hair. talking about your boat's noses smells. Boat. You your remember boat's nose? Oh yeah. Remember that? Yes. Smell that. What's up? Is that is that still boat's nose? Not at all. No. I, I smelled it. Remember last. Week? What about this? Not one? Boats and hose. <laughs> boats and hose. That's boats different. and hose. But no, I don't smell. Is that oh, smell? Oh wow. Oh no, snow. Let's okay. try that one. Oh, let's see. No, it kind of has like a wine. Oh, we're gonna, you got red hots in it. Oh, that's interesting. It is interesting. I wouldn't say it's smell good. Smell mine. So that's smell <laughs> mine. No, no, no. Context. That smells really <laughs> like sugary. Like Glenn. Sweet. Glenn. It, this is. I get sugary. I don't like that one. Like confectionery sugar. That's your, and that's that's your hot nose. Oh, that's no, this is getting better. Different. It smells. Yeah. It smells like green, young green wood, but now I'm getting red green hot. Wood. Uh, green wood, like green, like a like a tree branch, yeah, not not like a lump, like oh, a tree branch. I can't with him. Like a tree branch <laughs> that you that you you break and you you can't really break it. It just kind of tears. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I get. I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah what do you think on that one? Wet wood. Smells good. Want to say hi? No. Oh, your hair. You're beautiful. Good. I'm good. It. What's up? You here to BS? Mm-hmm. Right on. He was complimenting this particular. Vintage of Buffalo Trace. That, oh. that, that particular so, bottle itself, so, not so all that. Buffalo Trace, yes. just that bottle. Just doing that. <laughs> We're putting that out there for everybody to see. So yeah, so I may have to. Uh, <clears throat> so I haven't created the wheel yet for the giveaway. Oh gosh, she's like, <laughs> she's, I, like, I, oh, she's no. like, I came out so, at the wrong time. So well, when I do that, I mean, I, well, I, I, I say she had to do it. I'm like, it just takes a while if I got to do it on the. We fly. got a good group out here today. We got Jeff Castle, yeah. Ray Day, and it's Carl, super early. So it, Peter and, White. I'm Tim actually Dom. with 15 people at this time. People are still at work and stuff. Uncle you guys still at work? <laughs> this is a good. This is a good showing right now. And I, I, I put my foot in my mouth. At least I did. You know, I was basically talking about all Canadian whiskey just being meh. And Peter's like, just just simmer down. He's like, not all Canadian whiskey is bad. I'm like, fair. I have to take back anyway. my, my generalization. That's not good to do. But his Pendleton Midnight is good. So. Oh, okay. That is sleeper. Hey, so Peter, what do you think of the Pendleton Midnight? You're Canadian. Carl's so. sipping on that right now. He just bought one. Hey, Carl, yeah. Carl, you just bought one? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
And Carl says, good evening, Mrs. Badax. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Tater Dog, what, is, what's up with your, is that you on your, uh, your icon? I'm looking at that thing. It's bigger now. It's on the TV. Is that you on your icon? <clears throat> Who is Bo? All right. Let me see my, uh, <laughs> that, that uh, Kirkland right there. Oh, you need, you need some water? Oh, got, all right. We all okay. kind of, there's some of that free drink. Just, just like it. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? 20? No. What's that? What are you doing? An hour? Two hours? Five hours? Oh, no, no. No longer than an hour? hour and a half. No longer than that. We started at <clears> three. The girls are all making plans. Oh, girl, oh, 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 the girls oh, make, oh, we got plans. We're just going, we're, we're going so, along so this is the warm up. Hey, I'm okay with that. This is the warm up. I'm I'm completely fine. So let's put okay. on a rock. Oh, so this drink some good stuff here because Rod didn't have anything. I don't even know what that is. That's where we're going. All right, it's good. It's, it's, no, it's good. It's Modesto sushi. Yeah. Okay. And your wife is delicious. Up for it. Well, they have You're to welcome. Have, they have to have cooked food there. They do. They I only use it. Oh, that's all. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. that's the deal. Dude, yeah. it's, there's it's, no, it's there's really no way she's good. doing it. With <laughs> okay, here? Well, him either. So. Oh, no, okay, no, no, no. You, you don't go raw? No. No, you don't. No. Okay. No. no. Just and say No. No. Yeah. I, I used to eat a lot of sushi. No. A lot of sushi. And I had a bad experience one time. It was like gas station sushi. It was not a good idea. Okay, Peter White says my opinion is that brandy or, or, or and or cognac. We cash don't have. Maybe. We don't right have. So you were I won't. Yeah. I won't. I won't disagree with that. Peter Peter White says his opinion is brandy and or cognac cast makes all rye good. Hmm. I won't disagree with that. If brandy and I mean I like cognac finish and that, the brandy finish. I'm, I'm I've had only probably a couple brandy finish. This is the only one I can think of right now. Was that what that is? It's dude, dude, I didn't know the that. Mid, that's what makes it the midnight. See, I can't, re I can't 10 recall. 10 more proof. 10 more proof. <clears throat> so it's still only 90 proof, but it's more than 80. I can't recall a brandy finished whiskey that I've ever had other yeah, than that, then. Interesting. Dude, yeah, it was... I, I don't know. know. You know what I haven't done well of is, is wine casks on with with whiskey. So any kind of any kind of wine cask, okay. um, rum is good. Yeah, yeah, rum is always a good finish yeah. too. It's good. I like it sweet. I like it strong. <laughs> oh, we we were BSing today earlier. Oh my goodness. All right, I mean, right now this one's number one. So let me get to number two. All right. Uh, maybe try some Found North Obtanium. Oh, it's Obtanium. Have you ever had Obtanium? No, sir. Oh man, the Obtaniums I've had. Oh, you know what? I've had one Obtanium that tastes like bug spray. But other than that, did you? Did you? Give me a taste of old dragon bones. That yes. One time? I did try that. Yes. Did I care for it or did I not like it? I don't no, no, you like it. You like it. It's incredible. Okay. Yes. Or old dragon bones. Yep. I haven't had that, Peter. Hmm. All right. Let me go. What's this guy here? That's very bland. I mean, it just tastes like. It's got a little bit of, it's got a little bit of good flavor in there, but it's almost like uh, colors, the colors are it's almost good. like just caramelized sugar. You know, like if you're uh, you got the griddle on, yeah. But that it's very, it's, there's like one note, and that's it, hmm. and it tastes very watered down. <clears throat> I would say that's it for that. So I mean, uh, I don't expect it to. It's not overtaking the top spot. I'll tell you that. So let's go to number three here. It was not much on the nose. You can keep that, dude, if you want. That way, I just keep doing this. Do your thing, bro. Oh, this is the uh, tree, green tree branch. <laughs> oh, you got your wet wood This is again. the green tree branch, dude. Right, we're gonna start with, with but it's getting, but it's getting sweeter. It's getting better. I'll say that. Huh. All right, here we go. Oh, that's not a good flavor. It just. I'm glad I picked the two I'd picked. Oh, I was selective I, because I'm not doing the blind. I can I can cherry pick. And super red hots, dude. Wow, on fire. Oh, Maybe. then that I bet you a dollar to a donut. That's iron root. It it, it, it has to be. That's yeah. I was. I know it. That's the iron root because that's exactly what I got it last time. Hmm. And is red hmm. hots and bag of freaking I don't know. 
Peter's yeah. made a good point, and I have not opened them. I have two Sagamores, and really, you know, Dusty Dan got me on a Sagamore. Oh, yeah. And you know what, Sean? Sean, Sean was like, why don't you have that? So I got the double oak, yeah, double and oak. I have a another Finnish one. Um, it's like a, it's a burgundy yeah. label. Yeah. So I haven't opened either one of them. So, Peter, I've well, you I have, got to. Have you my double oak, yellow, though? Your Zag? Yeah. No. Oh, dude, you got to try it before you can get well, All right. a, a little just, bit. Just a scotch. Yeah, just a scotch. Especially for driving. Yeah, yeah. Later. Yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah, I can't wait to try it. So that's like a bag of this, which I'm thinking this is like a, a old bag of dirty socks. Uh, you know, what you get on the nose. Like if you're in high school and you're playing football or something, or you just wore some old. Remember back in the day, the Sperry Top Siders, yeah. where you'd wear them without socks, and your toes would get, you know, people would get dirty and get all gummy. That nasty ass smell that your mom would say, Oh my gosh, go wash your feet. That's the, if you could put that into a flavor. That's kind of what I'm getting right there with Red Hots, cinnamon Red Hots, uh, old dirty feet, very top cider. I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that. We got we got great shot in the house. Great shot. What's mm -hmm. going on, brother? You know, I just want to say, like Texas whiskey, I feel like is very hit or miss, and it's because of the climate. I mean, it's a layup. It's a layup uh, hypothesis, but it's the it's the climate. It's how hot it gets with the humidity, and um, I mean, I feel like still Austin's mastered it. I've been really impressed with this single bottle yeah. of Rebecca Creek that you've got. Yeah. You have more than that? You, have, you only buy one? This is it. It's all I'm... Oh, you know, I do have one, but it's a, a coconut flavor. You pick the right It's one. really good. Dude, it's oh, money. man. I, I got this because Sean, Whiskey Wars. Spanish Oak. Sean Evans, double Whiskey barrel, Wars. Spanish Oak. Spanish Oak finish right there. Double barrel. That's what I'm sipping on. 128 proof. And their uh, vice president, while I was there, took me into his office and... He had like three or four different ones, different proofs, all delicious. Man, this by far is terrible. I'm telling you, this right now is the last place. This is uh, number one spot right here, but I've got this one and one more. Nancy's pick on still is drinking a ton differently than it has in the past for me. And I'm not saying so, it's bad, it's different. So it's different, uh, different batch. That's got to be what So it this is. is the original one that i had oh I so see. the one you brought yeah this is the one you this brought me sick. back originally really not the ones i brought back i got it well so, i've only opened my first one so it's okay the same so one it's I've the same opened. one but man the, it tastes different yeah but look at look how much it's been sitting a while so we're gonna have the, we're gonna have the oxidized conversation yeah. now so we now we're talking neck pour stuff yeah which yeah. leads to this right we know obviously not neck pour, but it's, it's not bad it's, but the it's just different yeah. yeah like i memorized yeah. the flavor profile of nancy's pick on still awesome yeah this is like some green apple type of stuff here. Cheers, Tater Don. Not bad. Hey, would you guys do me a favor? Cheers, guys. Let um, Share my channel, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, like, I just, um, I'm close to 150. I've yeah, like let's get into 150, people. I'm at like 140, and um, it'd be really cool if I got to 150. I'm trying to build it, and you know, you guys know I'm trying to get feedback on the channel, so if you want to see more things or change things up, just message me, shoot a comment over. Um, see, but, more, see more Johnson? No, I don't know that guy. Seymour Johnson, no. <laughs> or IP Freely. Yeah, well, that's old school. Really, though, if you're not subscribed, you know, most people in here probably are, but if you're not subscribed to the Dirty RC Bar on, I mean, all the all the uh, social medias, but mainly YouTube. He's trying to get to 150 on YouTube. we got to get him there. This guy is too good to not already be there. He should be at 300 or more already. Brian, what's up, brother? What is going on, man? We're, we're going through this Texas whiskey stuff, man. We're trying to, uh, you know, make make it good. Uh, we uh, This was Thanks, guys. really good when I got it. It is a blended whiskey. It's not bourbon. Blended whiskey was really good when I got it. Whiskey Nature, what's up, man? Cheers. So, see, people getting off of work now. See, throw it up right in the middle. That. That's it. Right, so, see, people are getting off of work. So, uh, yeah. I figured that, that was our happening. We're, we're building. Yeah. We're building now. We're building. People are coming in now. They're coming in. Whiskey nature, man. Cheers, brother. Cheers. This one is not the worst. Just give me a thumbs up when you want to be the new one. Start it ready. Cool. Sweet. Oh, um, you, you got, got the producer. You even went to my Patreon. Got all those people in there. Hey, <laughs> <he's going. laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So <laughs> Okay, so the giveaway is on tonight. One way or another, the giveaway is on. So, oh, let me grab that, would you? This is what we'll be giving away. Which one? Oh, I'm sorry. It's yeah, right here. Okay. This is what we'll be giving away tonight. Uh, Jeff Castle, yours is on the way. Your full bottle of this is on the way. 
Nice. Is on the way. Oh, Jeff scored, huh? Je- no, that was your bottle. Oh, that okay. That was so that one, finally, right? So That's it's right. way more exaggerated, and I got it. I know it's it's been a, about okay. a week even since then. Since, but your full bottle, your seven fifty of this is on its way, brother. And uh, tonight we're gonna raffle off uh, this right here. We got a slap shot in here too. Uh, a three seven five of the NorCal liquor uh, single barrel bourbon uh, Buffalo Trace pick. Delicious, dude. That is it is a is a great. See, I've got actually I've got like four more of those people. I bought a bunch of those just for giveaways. They're just, so I, good. I did the same. Same I followed, thing. I followed dude. in his footsteps, dude. Yep. It, it's if you can I get mean, three seven fives <clears throat> and get a bunch of them, like three. Well, let's be honest. Sixteen. It's like sixteen bucks. The regular Buffalo Trace is just new. It's, it's meh. Just like meh. No, no offense, the regular wild turkeys just like eh, no, they are. They are what they are. But you get to, you get Kentucky Spirit, and yeah. it's like wow, this is good. Yeah. Oh yeah. You for get sure. the store pick. That's really good. Yeah. Right. So for sure. For sure. For sure. I actually. We just agreed. We just agreed on whiskey. So, I can't believe but it. But definitely would take the Kentucky Spirit over this. Jesus. So we got, and it would take 101 over regular Buffalo Trace. <laughs> Do we agree again? More or less, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I will I will take Kentucky Spirit over 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 Buffalo Trace or Buffalo Trace store pick. I will. I will. Hey, how about I would. that? How I would. About that? I would. A moment sure. of transparency. Then, right on, man. All right. All right. But I will take this over. Regular one on one and regular. Bubble and what we'll sure. definitely take is this guy. Oh man! Oh, oh okay. So why? Because because you have that out, I might have to have Mrs. Badax bring out one that somebody may have brought me back from. Uh, you know, during his injury from uh, Florida. All yeah, right, I'm, I'm going very talking. slowly through this, people. You know, we, we like to BS here. We like to have fun. Well, Sharon's like the reason she came out is so we can go to dinner later. <laughs> That's why she put us on notice. She Did she did, really? That's what she said. Right on. She goes, she, goes, she, goes, she came and let you know, just so you don't drag it out. That's just so you don't drag funny. it out. All right. We're meeting at five, so no lagging. Oh, That's what oh. Mrs. Dirty RC just said. <laughs> she said so me. check this out. Oh, you heard. <laughs> oh, she heard. She, she watching. She watching. Woo! This thing tastes so amazing. Okay. Hey, Lee. Hey, Mrs. Badax. She gone. She gone. Oh, she's watching. So, so to get in on the raffles, when I when I throw when I say a number to put in, which is going to be fifty six, not yet. I'll say, hey, <clears throat> number fifty. It sounds like she's probably got most of you guys in there already. But when I, yes. do you already have people from this chat in? I haven't. No. Okay. I'm okay. On all the okay. When you're ready, let me know. Where they are and who it is. Okay, when you when you're ready, let me know and I'll th- I'll throw the You can text out. me and I'll, I'll throw the number. Like an hour because okay. I'm trying to find all that. It's it on Patreon. I know. I don't know that app. I gotta find it. Oh, you, you can here. I'll, no, I, I'm good. I'm okay. Good. Should I'm I help? College graduate. I can figure it out. Oh, oh, okay. Why not? Shots fired. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so when I say when I say hey, she's getting some other stuff loaded up now. So she, she's awesome. Everybody know, in here knows just how awesome she is. She is the brains. So all those little shorts I've been doing, those are all her idea, Mrs. Badex's idea. Hey, they've been blowing. Thanks you to you guys, but they've been blowing up like, I mean, <clears throat> tens of thousands of, of of views. So it's it's been great. It's been helping. I've been. It's been crazy, actually. I've been getting like twenty-five or thirty new subscribers a day. It's been in. Oh yeah, been, yeah, yeah. We've been, been ta- we've been talking about that. It's been insane. So I'm going to continue to do the shorts. I, I didn't want to do them, but actually, they're, they're actually getting kind of fun. I've had responses from them, or people are saying, "Hey, I like." They say, "Hey, what would Bobby buy?" And they're pointing it out, and you know, there's a price on this, mm-hmm. and it looks like I'm going to bring some old stuff back, like. Uh, bad axe bourbon, good or bad, where this one's, I'll blind it, this is good, this is bad, they don't show you what it is, and then uh, maybe do the price on it or something like that. What are you sipping on? But people are liking the, what would Bobby buy? Yeah, and it's good stuff. Buy this, don't buy that <clears throat> type of stuff. So, hey, you got to get the gotta get the subs up so I can you know spread this thing out here. Oh, Bourbon School's cracking Rebecca Creek Spanish Oak tonight. Oh, you got it? What? Yeah! How did you get it? I don't even oh, have it did yet. Did Sean get it for you? You, I know that you got it. Who got that for you, Brian? Man. All right. Can't All right. believe that. Get some more in here. Raider I Dave, got a little green uh, apple here. When, so when he says he gives you the heads up, that's when he'll give you the heads up to put the number in the chat. I'm so. gonna, I'm gonna. It, the number will be 56, but not yet. Don't put it in there yet. And then everybody, that's your free. That gives you your 
your free slot on this on the wheel. So if you're a Patreon member, then you automatically get extra slots on the wheel according to your subscription level, like uh, three, five, and ten dollar uh, a month. So you get uh, the three gives you one extra slot, the five gives you three extra slots, I believe, and the ten dollar level gives you five extra slots on the wheel. It just increases your odds, and it's something to do. I, I have been, to be honest, I've been uh, not very active on Patreon. I'm looking to get more active on Patreon lately. Just had all kinds of stuff going on, but I'm getting there. So look forward to you Patreon members. Look forward to some more Patreon chat, at least, and some content I ideas. And if you're interested in a Patreon-only live stream where we can all get on, maybe get everyone on the screen that can get on the screen and just BS, I'm open to that, too. David Bass <clears throat> in the house. David Bass, cool, man. Good to see you, man. I haven't seen you in a while, but I, I've started seeing you. Yes, Red Friday, brother. I was going to say, look at this right here. Got the Red Friday going. Veteran. Red Friday. You know, remember everyone deployed. You, you know that? Yes, okay. Remember everyone deployed. And we got Baby Badax in Texas, a good fellow Air Force base right now. He's in his third so week. Awesome. Third week of the Fire Academy. Kicking butt, passed his national registry test for the uh, emergency medical stuff, the EMR stuff. So he's that, that is the one that Watches a lot of people out, so that's the one we're kind of like, yeah, let's do this. So I just now shared firefighting uh, stuff. That's what's up. I just shared um, Bobby's Patreon link in the in the chat. Mm. It should be popping up any any time now. Thank you. In case you guys need to find it, <clears throat> that's not not very good either. Yeah, I think you're gonna have three misses and two hits. I, I well, maybe maybe three hits. I don't know. I got two misses. That's not good. I got two misses at least right now. I mean. This one was not very good. This oh, one was I terrible. Can, I can get spoiler alerts. You can't. Yeah. Okay. There's there's number, don't pay attention to colors and numbers on there. Yeah, I got you. Okay. This one's really good. Okay. That one's just not much. Not bad, but it's what just... Was this, what about this one? That one's... Uh, these are about both not much. And look, and they're the, the two light ones. They're both light. And let me go on to this one. So I cleanse my palate out. That's a decent nose. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Do you like that one? I do like that one. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you already. These two right here are the best ones. This one is the worst one. So, basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scoot these down like this. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to put this one in the back right now. So, from, which, which from one, my right which, to left, it's going to be... It's good to, good to worse. Yes, yeah, so... To, yeah. This way. So what? What do you do? Are you? Are these two in these, order? Not. Not yet. Okay. So now, they're, now, they're your top two. I know this one is the worst. Okay. So that's. And your, these are two that are kind of meh. That's your wet green wood. Yeah, wet green wood <laughs> and old dirty gym socks and all that. So these are the two ones I'm liking. This one is just, man. It's like you know, I'm gonna go into another one here, almost. You know when when you you, a, you might well at least at, at the firehouse when you're at work, and there's we have fifteen dude. Remember, imagine this: fifteen people in a firehouse. We have an airport side right. Uh, I'm the captain where I got I, I got three crash rigs with airport firefighting rigs on my side of the house, which is, is six two people on each rig. On um, then there's structure side. There's four people on each rig: there's a truck and engine, and then got a battalion chief. That many people. And sometimes, sometimes he's in the fire chief. He, he's in the station too. All those people throwing away garbage into this one big garbage can, like food garbage. Okay. Food garbage, maybe some wet, juicy stuff in there too. You know, when, and you and inevitably you someone's got to take that garbage out, right? You grab that thing, the and you walk it. Yeah, yeah. You start walking out through through the stalls, and all of a sudden there's this drip. <clears throat> you see this drip. There's always that drip, that garbage juice drip. It's never a good smell, right? Okay. That's that. Let me see. I'm, I'm, I'm that's that. That's the garbage. That's the garbage, that's the garbage I can, juice. I can get a spoiler alert. And it gets on. No matter when you find out that it's dripping, it's on you somewhere, right? And it's a never nasty did. smell. Never want stinky juice on you. And I'm guessing it's that. 
Don't tell me yet, but I'm guessing it's that because that's the what I got. I will tell it's you. It's garbage juice with red hots. <laughs> that's it. Red hot garbage juice. Red hot garbage juice. So, okay. So, I'm going to go back. Okay. So, I'm going to go this way. A couple cases of the yeah. RC. What? Yeah, that's bad. I thought, wait a minute. Garbage juice and red hot. I thought Rebecca Creek wasn't shipping any out, outside of Texas. There's no ways. Well, somebody, some a third party had to do it then. Oh. You well. know. <clears throat> yeah, kind of like when we, that's we, if we do a barrel pick. Yeah, I get you. It'll be that. Hand delivered. Got it. Got it, for sure. Hand delivered. Okay, so that's red hot garbage juice. Uh, this is uh, this is bad. I mean, it's better than that, but I'm not saying this is great. Big Daddy's right. Russell's is good stuff. Green muted. No, this one's really not that good either. No, that one's not good either. Yeah, that one's not good. But it's not garbage juice. It's just kind of muted garbage juice. So Carl, you man, you've been watching that long, or did you just go back and because that's like a year and a half ago? The good or bads are. Did you ever watch any of those? The good or bads? Uh, bad axe bourbon. Oh yeah, good yeah. or bad? Oh yeah, yeah. Boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. I gotta get back into swinging the axes. I haven't done a lot. You need some new here. wood, man. Your wood's almost gone. You've beaten your wood to a, to, <laughs> you, to a pulp. That's my, my boy right saying, there. I'm just saying. You're, you're beating your wood to a pulp. It's almost I'm gone. Just saying. It's my <laughs> wood. I'll clean it as hard and as fast as I want. <laughs> Mom? <laughs> Kidding. <sighs> oh, man. Right? So, so much for running for president. <laughs> It was, it was, it was yeah. gonna be yeah, it was gonna be Cruise twenty twenty eight. But now you know CNN will get a hold of this clip oh, and they'll be right, like, no, right. clip it. Can't do that. <clears throat> okay, just a little bit of brown sugar. What? There's not a lot going on here, but but it's it's better than the other two. These two. This is definitely better than the other two. This one's definitely last. This one is a step above that. This is a step above that. And these two are many stories above those three. Wait a minute. I got to ask Carl a question. What up, You're Carl? You're close to Corbin Cash? I had no idea. That's great. We're, we're an hour and a half from Corbin Cash. That's awesome. Well, maybe just yeah, so you know, yeah. Carl is Sean that was at NorCal. During the weekend. Oh, so that's his, his name. That's his screen name. That's his middle, oh. his middle name. He I didn't see. I didn't, I didn't connect yeah. that. Okay, okay so. right on. It was great to meet them. Yeah. Yeah. Was, they You're were from, awesome people. He's from uh, he's Northern Cal. So we're I think he's in just Boston. above Sac. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, so so we're closer to, to Corbin Cash than he is. For sure. But see, he's still close. Close enough. Yeah, he is. You're that's close that's enough, man. You got you got to go to Corbin Cash. Oh, I'm Dom. You got to. Dom, you're California guy, too. You got to go to Corbin Cash, man, if you haven't been already. We should meet up. Okay, yeah. Get the get the California people to meet up. Just turn, just turning, still lost. Oh, 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 oh. So I'm guessing, I'm just guessing. I'm, I'm going to completely guess here. I'm with, I'm with. I'm gonna, I guess this is Iron Road. It is horrible because, but I've had. What sucks is, I have a, a sample media pack from Iron Root that has a harbinger in it that is delicious, and a, a harbinger hazmat. That's delicious. Even better. So, if that's this, I, I don't know what's going on with it. It's not good at all. And this one, I'm going to guess, I don't know. These two are pretty light, so I'm guessing it's these two. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry, these two. I I'll, I don't know which one's which. This one's kind of sweet, so probably the wheat. This one's probably the wheat just because it's a little sweeter. So, really, this guessing. has now become a, a blind with the bottom three. Because you've probably, and yeah. I don't know, but you've picked these the two, two best. These, these so. two, this is this has to be, or I'm going to look like a complete moron, which I can absolutely do very easily. This got to be Rebecca Creek and uh, Still Austin, Cast Strength, Fairly Pig. Yeah, these are both gray on the nose, and they're a little bit hotter, so I'm guessing these are the two hottest ones. Yeah, you know what? 
Is it 122? This is 120. So it's 120.8. This is 122. Yeah. So, I mean, technically they are, but 2% or 2 proof. So you got 17, yeah, 17.92, 12 year today for 60 bucks. It's good. Dude, that's a great price, David. It's good. That's, that's a awesome. great price. Oh, man, do it. Do it, man. David, I saw I saw an entire end cap full of foolproof single barrel, yeah. no 12-year, single barrel and bottle and bond, 1792 yesterday, oh. unlimited qualities, qu quantities, unlimited. Okay. They had, they probably had 100 of each of the three, maybe maybe 50. Sorry, 100 is probably too much. But it was uh, it was crazy. But they didn't have the 12-year. 12 12-year is one of my favorites. This is a little darker, I think. I mean, they're both very dark, but I think this one's a tad bit darker. But they're, I mean, they're both good. I mean, the viscosity on that is the <laughs> bulk. <laughs> the the viscosity is great on these guys. What's up, Shred? Shred! Shred hey, woo! What's up? All we need is hanging in here now. He's probably on. He's probably on the job. Yeah, he probably. I, mean, I know I jumped in, got early guys, but I want to get ahead of uh, uh, Trev and Sean. I mean, they, they, that's, those that's guys respectful. Go yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm off all day if a. He and I, we, we haven't talked, we've just barely talked about it yet. But, I, mean, I mean, we got an idea brewing, which may be helpful for everybody, for us, me especially, because you guys know my schedule. The reason I mean I don't have a, a solid spot is because of my work I mean, schedule. You can tell them, get some feedback, see if they like it. Are you, are you maybe? I mean, I'm open. I, I, we have to well, nail down the day, but, okay, so, but still. Check this out. I, because of my work schedule, it, I can't have a specific day for every week. So, we're talking, he want to grow his, he want to grow both of our channels. want to grow his, he's got a better collection than I got. You guys want to see his stuff more than you want to see my stuff. I, anyway, he has knowledge of this as well. Great knowledge. And he's very in-depth of stuff. So, what we were contemplating was possibly nailing down a day and a time slot where when I'm off, I mean, not every time I'm off work, I mean, we still do his channel, but <clears throat> basically sharing a time slot where I, I could be on, or we could be on, probably together, since that seems to be, it works better this way anyway, the, the to and fro, the back and forth, mm -hmm. but nail down a time slot where either one of us will be on <clears throat> in that slot. Or both. One, one, either one the other, or both. You probably both or, or, or either one. So, yeah. so we can nail down. Let's. I mean, I don't know the yeah. day, but let's just say it's Thursday. We're just throwing it out there. at five ten or five oh five. Yeah. For five thirty. Right. Then if it was Thursday at five thirty Pacific every yeah. Thursday, you're gonna yeah. get Bobby. You're gonna get me, or you you would get Bobby and me. Yes. And if we can make that work, yeah. What, do you guys? Is there any value in that? You, you guys any thoughts or anything? If we get nailed, because I mean, one of the things that. I think we need to grow channels Lopez. here is to be <laughs> Lopez, the kid. Lopez. So one of the things that we need to grow is we need to be consistent, right? It, and that would at least be the, the consistency. That's the best that I could do in consistent consistency. Well, it's it, hard with, for me with my work schedule. Because you've got it more challenge. You've got a more, um, um, uh, there's more variety in your work schedule, but my work schedule is full. Yeah. So if I pick a time where I can just commit that it's not going to interfere with work. Yeah. And then that covers us. Yeah. So. Right on. Uh, element uh, ninety six forty two, the dirty RC bar. Throw your child. So he's going to throw yeah. it up in up in there. Pin it if you want. Is, is it pin? Oh, I. I you can find YouTube. That. You can pin yeah, it. Yeah, I'm a I'm a rookie rookie moderator. Yeah, yeah. Rookie moderator here. All right. I'm, I'm going to try again. So I got my. Let me let me figure out these two right here. I'm going to come to these two. This is definitely last place. Let me go here. Oh, we got Dirty CR Tater Dom beat you to it, man. Dang, the guys are all over. Dude, Thank man, you. we Thanks, got guys. these peeps in here. Appreciate you. Lopez threw it up, too. Dude, give, dude, give yourself you, a wrench, I, dude. I, what? I think you probably got to give dude. Are you not a wrench? Why am I not a wrench? I don't know, dude. You That's know, funny. When, when you're messing with all the stuff, and you are a wrench, but when you're messing with all the stuff, trying to nail it down, which member, which channel you had like oh three, yeah, three, yeah we had three. to undo it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. That, 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 well, that's all right we'll we'll whatever, whatever. I think at least you took the phone for this here yeah yeah get on there yeah so face id yeah here we go there it is wah, wah, wah. so we're on there so i'm gonna make him a wrench all right so he can do this it's stuff too. time so we got Tre trev is on right now too actually so we're not gonna be on that much longer i can get through this stuff and 
And we'll do the giveaway, and then we'll jump off. So, sure. Trev, uh, so, so we don't take all these, all you guys away from Trev, right? No doubt. So, uh, uh, let me see here. Oh, let's get on my our own so, live stream. So these- yeah. See. All right. What, what we got a bunch of new people in the in the chat. So we got Lopez, Element. Um, so what are you guys sipping on? What are you yeah, sipping what on? are you guys sipping on? We got good there was a lot of Pendleton. Bar. There's a lot of a lot of Pendleton from uh, from our Canadian contingent. Um, moderator. And then also, and Bobby moderator. warmed up with some Pendleton. Yep, so. Pendleton Midnight. Good stuff. All right, so we got there. So he's a managing moderator. He's like Woo. super moderator. Man, I could change his name to Buffalo Trace Fanboy instead of Bad Axe Bourbon. That'd be awesome. Talk about a prank. No. Ah, ah. <laughs> hey, guys, don't forget you can become YouTube members, too. Uh, right on. Okay, so, uh, y- yes, you can. So... I don't know. Other than that, I am going to, with the YouTube members, it's there. Do it if you want. I appreciate it. It helps me fund this stuff, and it, it makes awesome. it easier to buy Super bottles cool. and provide more content. What I am going, probably the only thing I'm going to do with that is I'm going to, I'm in the process of making axes, different colored axes, uh, for the different membership levels and call them different things like probably the ultimate one will be the crash axe because my favorite type of firefighting is crash fi- aircraft rescue firefighting which is called ARF but old school uh, name of it was it was called crash crash firefighting you know airplanes crash but you know anyway that's what's going to do I'm working on a different uh, axe different axes and uh, different levels uh, different colors of axes for that how do you like uh, like Trevor Bourbon wrench. Yeah, you got different colored wrenches. That's cool. How do you yeah. pin? How oh. do you do the pin? Yeah, do, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the guys can tell me how to pin. No big deal. Who should go to it? So it's right there on the bottom. Is it probably on? If oh, I got you on your from mine. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Here you go. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> All right. Let me see. I think this one's better. Yeah, John J. Bowman is good, man. Element. Yeah, this one's a little funky for me. Just a little bit too much like a like sour green apple. I um, mean, yeah, this is going to stay there. It's a step above this, but this one's a little bland, but it's not doesn't have the bad note that I like there. Let's see if that did it. Yep. All right, now we're pinned at the top. That's what's right. up. Thank you for hey, that. Hey, so we do got a break. So he's getting big enough where he's got haters now. And I I got plenty, I got plenty of haters now too. That will jump in and say, Hey, you did that. You got some backdoor deal at whatever. I'm like, dude, it's, we we can take this time to kind of talk about it. It's about, about building relationships with where you go. Right. The grocery, I go do a lot of grocery store stuff, build relationships with the spirits managers. Like I'm sure many of you in here do build those relationships. You know what time they deliver? What, What, how many days a week? what time of the day and all that stuff. Yep. And they get to know you and they, and they say, Hey, I mean, I'm not getting like text messages from these guys or anything, but when I go there, we're like, Oh, Hey, how's it going? Hey, this stuff just came <clears> in. <throat> you know, he's, wasn't waiting for me. I didn't give him a call, but I mean, it's you're, there. You're just talking about like, that is the, the general rule of business and life. Yes. Whether it's your new neighbor, you just move to a people. or you, you know, it's business. It's all yeah. about relationships. It's all about relationships. So if you don't like people, and you're a little bit of a prick, you're probably not going to get the best prices on True. Bourbon, on bourbon. Exactly. So exactly. I think that, at the end of the day, that's the deal. That's it. You just be nice to people. Yep. You know, especially if you want something, do something for them. You know, they'll do something for you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, if you it's go to, really that if, simple. You go to a liquor store and you buy a couple bottles and you meet the manager or the assistant manager and Ooh, you get to good. know them, right? And then you come back and you buy another couple bottles, and then you've built a little bit of a track record. Yeah. Now you go in and you're like, oh, I'm really looking for this King of Kentucky or this whatever, you know, William Leroux Weller. You know, can you mm. keep an eye out? And they keep an yeah. eye out for you. Yeah. And then when it comes in, you've already yeah. done business with them, so they've already, you know, received yeah. your investment into them, so it makes more sense. Shred, dude. Shred's not about the, <clears throat> the, the Bowman. So it depends on which one. <clears throat> Bowman Brothers, John J. Bowman. There's, I mean, it starts getting confusing after a while. If you're not super into it. Yeah, good call, Lopez. Don't forget to smash the like button. 
Please smash the like and go subscribe to the Dirty RC Bar. It's pinned to the top. Pinned to the top. <clears throat> there are a few stores I've uh, built relationships with, and they start pulling stuff out from under the counter to show me. That's, That's it. exactly nice. what we're talking about. I try. Exactly. That's exactly. And also, make sure to buy something from there. Buy some of their mid-level stuff. If you if you like wild turkey, buy your 101 there. Or buy your Buffalo Trace there if that's what you... Or your, no. your Jim Beam Black label. There was a guy... Just don't buy any Jack Daniels, old number seven. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> we're, trying to, we're trying to not have that be the best-selling whiskey, whiskey in the world. Yeah. We're trying to have that. Well, not be that. And the... And the ready. You ready, ready for... Okay. All right. Woo! All right, Spinny. If you, everybody in here, if you want your free slot on the wheel, your free slot, 56 in the chat right now. 56 in the chat. Station 56. All right. Go ahead and blow that sucker up. I do a shred. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Element. The E.H. Taylor single barrel, I like it. I do like it. I do like it better than small batch. And I'll say small batch normally. I mean, it is a single barrel, so... Learning, I mean, as recently as this pick that we did, go watch his last video that what we did a Weller a Weller foolproof barrel pick, pick for Bros Liquors barrel pick. He uh, <laughs> there was one in there that was not good at all. It was bad. It was bad. A, a it was Weller not good at all. Foolproof. Like Weller if foolproof. you said special reserve, I'm like, okay, I get that. But foolproof, I would have. It was a, a normal special reserve was better than that. That one. That one. It was well, not good at all. So I'd have been really mad if I bought a Weller Foolproof and that was it. And so wouldn't you say the value in that whole thing? So that video, the idea was <clears throat> Bros Liquor reached out to me and said, hey, Rick, would you do a tasting? Yeah. And I I, I, I invited Bobby and Scott to, you know, over to do the tasting with me. Right on, Dom. So we did the tasting, and then we, clear, we had a clear-cut winner. There was no question. It was delicious. And so we give that to, to Bros Liquor, and now that's the barrel that they pick. So the value is, and it saves people money that go to buy that store pick or go to buy a Weller Foolproof. They know that we vouched for that particular bottle. Yes. And you're not going to waste yes. whatever it is that it costs because, you know, I think that adds value to the community. And, it, it's, I, and I think it's very smart of Bros Liquors or any liquor store to reach out to people like us that have channels that mm -hmm. we're doing this mm -hmm. all the time. And we have contact with a lot of people like this and it, you guys it, we know that we have most of us have similar palates and if we say something's you can see we had to do a lot of stuff on here if we say something's not good it's probably not good like this is hot red hot cinnamon garbage no bueno no bueno well uh, these two right here are delicious well let's be honest the bourbon game it's not easy it's not it's, easy. it's not affordable it's hard to right. find things and then right. you could end up wasting money that you yes. really wanted to spend on a nice bottle right. on something that doesn't taste good. And I'll, and I say that secondary market sucks, but mm -hmm. that's where the relationships come in. Build a relationship, and now you can go there to a like a liquor store. Yep. You're not going to be able to do this at a grocery store because they, they don't mark, they mark it up ten or twenty bucks anyway. But yeah, make something on it. But they they're not in it to make a killing on it. But the liquor store owners they got to make something on it. But mm -hmm. if you know them, you buy your regular stuff there. They see you often enough, then you can negotiate with them, or sure. they're just going to give you like already. This the stores I go to all the time. He already knocks it down. I get a better price than just anybody Joe Schmo that goes in there. But now, if I say, "Hey man, we we know that this isn't worth that. I'll give you this much above MSRP, but I'm not going to. You know, I'm not going to pay this much for it." Is I, I can talk. To, I have a lot of connections now, even through the internet now, where I could maybe get something I want in another state and just mm -hmm. have a ship and pay for the pay for the shipping or, or whatever, or pay for a hand delivery hey, listen, and, and just get it. I mean, as Dalton say, just be nice. Be nice. That's what he said in Roadhouse. Just be nice. Oh, by the way, speaking of Roadhouse. Don't see that new one. It is horrible. Really? You it's didn't like so it? Did you watch it? I did. I it was it, so it's, dumb, It doesn't dude. beat the first one. The first oh, one's dude. amazing. Oh, it's but terrible. Sharon was dude. all in it because she saw Jill and Hall's well, abs. A, well, there, there, there. And Conor McGregor's abs. Oh, my gosh. Con I, I, I like Conor McGregor. It, Thank, he's not an actor, dude. He, he's as good as actor as Schwarzenegger. <laughs> and I like Schwarzenegger movies. 
He's like, Nox, Nox is here. Nox yeah, is here. Nox is here. He actually just played himself. He did a good yeah, job. He yeah, did, yeah, did a good job. But, but it was, they had the whole beach setting and boat coming into the freaking thing. and Boat's noses. No. Just, I mean, uh, don't wo- give it away. Wokey stuff. and Yeah. Uh, it, don't waste your time. In my opinion, it was garbage. But, you know, this guy go up against the old one, which, you know, Patrick Swayze. I don't, I don't know, know how you beat that one. It's such he, a good he movie. He can't beat it, but it's, it's not even a good movie. There were some cool fights. Oh, you mean the second one? The second one. Okay. Yeah, but it's not even a good movie. It's terrible. That's what I thought was dumb. Carl's dying right now. He's, dumb. he's laughing his ass off. Dude. Dude. All right. Okay. Those are where they need to be right there. I'm, I'm going to, I got to make my mind up right here. Right now. Bobby incriminating yourself again. Come on, Shred. How am I incriminating myself? You get like gallons of samples. Dude, how many samples? Dude, you could give samples out for two years every day and not run out. I mean, I got boxes and boxes of samples, dude. I got, man. Well, I got me not to give you any samples. So maybe your next live stream, it's just like, hey, let's just do these samples. You know that one sample you gave me last time I was here? It's in a square shot, a square sample glass. It was some special weird one that oh, yeah, High yeah, West yeah, yeah, that you can't yeah, yeah. get. Yes, yes. 155 yeah, years. Yeah, the High like West. Uh, yeah. That you can only get at the distillery. It's like a 25 year. Crazy. Song. Yeah. It was, it was crazy. Brick, what's up? <laughs> Raider Dave. What do you say? What do you say? Oh, whoa, 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 this is classic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hot, Thank hot, you. Hot Thank you, Rare juice Dave. with a little cinnamon. Yes, hot garbage. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Hot garbage juice with a little cinnamon sauce. You had like only like 13 people put 56, but there was way more. We got so 23 people on. Okay. So there's, here, there's a bunch of people in here. So don't do it again if they already did it. If you've already done it, don't do it again. But if you have not put 50, if you want your free slot on the wheel for this guy, for the hand delivery of this, uh, Single barrel, Buffalo Trace, NorCal, store pick, 375. You want that? Then uh, go ahead and put 56 in the chat. 56 in the chat. Don't do it again if you've already done it because she's already got you on the list. You should probably make this five minutes. <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit, Carl. Like, shit, send me some samples. I'll pay for them. All right. These two. Those are, that's that's three through five right there. I'm trying to go one and two right here. This is really good. I keep talking, man, I talk too much. I talk too much, don't I? I mean, I think if you were here and you were just quiet, it might kill the, the vibe with, I the, know. with the, the, the live stream. I get the radio silence thing, um, and it just kills stuff. I'm just chill today. Today I'm, I'm on vacation, just relaxed. Okay, someone no says, stress. W, repping NorCal. All right on, man. Man, I work in Mountain View, brother. Element, where do you live now? <clears throat> you still in the Bay Area? Bay Area, right on, man. That's where he's from, but I'm not sure if he's still here. Might have bounced out to, Ooh, like, this is, New York. This is a lot. Oh, my gosh, this one's so good. This one's a little hotter. Man, this is really a coin toss right here. This is a little hotter. This one's a little more caramel. I bet you... This is a little more caramel right here. I'm, I'm betting this is probably the Fraley pick. I'm getting a little bit more on the nose on this one. I'm getting more on the palate on this one. I said moron. moron. I said moron. Okay, so now I know how he's picking, and um, it's going to be interesting to see what he, what he lands on. In Colorado, Ooh, it's just all right now. These are both right so good. These Run are with whiskier. Cool. These are both freaking delicious right here. So whatever these two are of these, I'm guessing it's the Fraley and the Rebecca Creek. These are both delicious. You can get your hands on either one of these. Do it. But I do know if if this is the the Fraley pick and the Rebecca Creek. You can only get these specific bottles in, in Texas. Texas. And specifically, you can only get this one at the distillery because it's the Fraley pick. You can get this at Total Wine, just a cask strength, which is still good. So I bought two when I was there. Got one for Bobby. He was there. Got two. Got one for me. So that's the way you got to do it. When you go down there or someone hose down there, get to 
and bring a couple back. Roll them up in the suitcase. I'm getting good at those suitcase packings with the with the Dude, I, need, oh, I brought back that that purple top Willet family estate, hundred and whatever thirty eight proof. Mm -hmm. I don't want to open it. I don't. I've never seen one that. Tell yet. that story, dude. Are, are you? Are you yeah, want to tell a story? No, I don't mind telling the story. It's interesting. Crazy. Oh my goodness, dude. It's, oh, uh, love. So, oh my goodness. So be all, nice to people. Yeah. Yeah. Did, no, right. No, super cool. I mean, I, I was blown away. Got to be honest. That there was a. Uh, the long and the short of it is I belong, just like you guys, belong to some Facebook bourbon groups, right? And I met somebody on there that uh, I said I was going to be doing some business in um, in Knoxville. We have some uh, locations in Knoxville, so I was flying out for business. And uh, I threw it out there. Does anybody know any good bourbon shops, uh, whiskey stores, to get some to get some hooch at, right? Yeah. And uh, somebody said, hey, pri you know, DM me privately, a guy named Nate. He's like, I'm a store manager. Would love to have you buy. You know, I've got a cigar club. You know, have you buy for that too? I don't do cigars, but I really appreciate the gesture. And I was just blown away. And he's like, you know, we'll we'll roll out the red carpet. And I'm like, well, that's very kind. I was just looking for a store, right? Yes, Carl. And uh, cast strength. Yep. So single barrel is worth fifty bucks. Yeah. And the, uh, if you got, I'm sorry, the cast strength is worth fifty bucks, and the single barrel cast strength it's worth one hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, this is that, but this is a Fraley pick. So, yes. Uh, yes to both of those. Sorry, go no, ahead. No, it's okay. I don't need to tell the I didn't mean to interrupt. You, 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 prompt, yes. you prompted me. So, uh, <laughs> long story short, um, I couldn't meet him there that day, so I met his assistant manager. Assistant manager was so awesome. Opened up all of their store picks, sampled with me, talked about the history. I knew so much about bourbon. I was so impressed. The customer service was great. They had two or three people there. And uh, on accident, ended up kind of taking me into the back and uh, showing me the uh, the bottles, and um, I ended up selecting a Willet Purple Top, and it was an accident because um, he thought that it was okay to take me back there, and um, I bought the the Purple Top for a great price. Not going to go into the details, yeah. but just really appreciate the fact that you know just <clears throat> meeting somebody online yeah. and connecting with somebody, yeah. you know, rolling out the red carpet and for inviting sure. them in, and then yeah. giving me a great deal on a on a purple top. It was just, yeah. it was amazing. It was a, it was a great, great, uh, great interaction. Oh yeah. And, and he was telling me this, this stuff. I'm like, dude, are you serious? You just got a family estate purple top. Oh, te you got a 10 year, right? 10 year, 10 year. And you had a nine year too, right? Yeah, a nine, but I, I decided but, I didn't yeah, want to yeah. buy both because no, I don't want to be and that's, what, and that's, that's and karma it, too. Yeah. If you got, we got lucky enough to both. get something, then but, just take the one. Right. But, don't but the, buy it all. Don't be greedy. Don't the, buy it all. That's just like sins. Like, but the tough part is it was a mistake. And true. he didn't realize that the owner was holding that tenure for another customer. Okay. So I bought it, but I wanted it. I'm like, should I give it back? It's like, no, keep it. I'll make it right with the customer. And um, I'm like, man, it was and that's just the attitude you need to have. Away. Then that's also the attitude you need to have too. Like, oh, shoot, man. I didn't know this wasn't supposed to be for me. You know what? I'll, I'll take it back. I'll send it back. Whatever. And then more often than not, it's going to be like, no, man, I could tell you, you know what, what it's about. You know what you're talking about. I know you appreciate it. And that's yeah. what they want, too. They want to know you're, you, that you appreciate what you have. And most of us in here do, or we're learning to, right? So that, that's kind of what it's about. It's about sharing this stuff, getting the good stuff that you can get. Don't be greedy with it. Have it. Yeah. Share it. Share it. 100%. Share it. And, and, have, and have people over to enjoy it. Dude, I'm um, I have stuff I don't like because I know other people like it and I want to share it with them. I want to give them what they like. There's only a couple of bottles that I think I won't open and I'm going to save for a special occasion. Kind of like couple. you saved the sign bottle of the Fraley. Nancy's, what is it, the, the 188? The Joseph Magnus Cigar yeah. Blend 188. Yeah, that's going to be a wedding. The Bad Axe Bourbon or a graduation. Batch. Anyone in here? Yo, yeah, dude, it'll be. You know what I mean? Yeah, the, my original Bad Axe Bourbon Corbin Cash yeah. pick. Absolutely. That one's unopened. The uh, the uh, Nancy named the the batch 188 of the Joseph Magnus cigar blend after the, you know my channel, the Bad X Bourbon channel. The original one she brought back from me from the distillery, bottle number two, and she signed it. That one won't be open until either baby Bad X gets married or 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 they have uh, or he's got a kid or I got a grandson or something. So I decided this is the order I'm going in right here. And I think I know which order it is because I don't get the caramel on the nose, but I get it on the palate with this one. And I remember with the 21090 pick of, of Still Austin cast strength, I got caramel on the, I got caramel on the nose, but I didn't get mu as much on the palate as I did with the Fraley pick. And 
I think I'm getting out here. I honestly, this is a coin toss, but I'm 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 going with this one today. I, I'm I, I think this is I think this is a still Austin. I think this is a Rebecca Creek. I would sip either one of these. Last call. Last call. We got a minute and fifty six seconds. We got a timer run. Do you see? Yeah. Do you see the timer? Okay. Last call. Fifty six in the chat. If yeah. you haven't done it already, we're gonna spin the wheel. When this runs down, Mrs. Badax probably will come out here, hold it up to the uh, the camera, and we'll spin it that way because I didn't get to preload it and be all fancy and bring it out on the screen. Yeah, and, and what's the age statement on this, Rebecca Creek? Do you know? Because because um, uh, somebody just put out a really good comment. I, 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 was it Shred or it was? Uh, no, I don't know the age statement on this. Was it? But I'm actually Peter White now. Let's see, I'm actually I'm actually friends with the master distiller now since I went to the distillery. Yeah, Peter White just put it. I said the Spanish oak cast strength. They have about five different types, including an expensive sixteen year. You know what's really cool is they have it's aged and bottled by Rebecca Creek. A distillery, San Antonio, Texas, and it's got the mash bill on here, which is very transparent and uh, very cool to them. They get seventy-five percent corn, twenty-one percent rye, and four percent malted barley. OG bricks in the house. Now it says bottled in Indiana. So what does that tell you? <clears throat> little uh, little Ross and Squib, uh, maybe MGP action, maybe. probably. Wait, really? Yeah. So made there, but it's bottled Indian. up there? Yeah. Why won't they bottle locally? I, I don't know. That's the easiest thing to do. <laughs> okay. Thirty Under 30 seconds now, people. Under 30 seconds. 25. I think, I think you're right there, Lopez, the kid. This is it. So I'm going this one over this one right now. Let's see what he picks. Yeah. Just caramel on this one. More caramel, and I like it sweet. Today, I like it sweet, people. That's why you picked me. <laughs> yes, that's why I picked Mrs. Bad Axe. But this is, these Good are, axe. honestly, it's hard to pick between these two, and I have to pick. So this one's just a little bit sweeter, so I'm going with this one. Tomorrow, I may see this one. That right. That's how close these two are to, in my book. So I'm, I'm going to see it. What is it? Oh, we got Number five. Still Austin. Right on. Hey, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy. Still Austin. I'm happy, pick, it's, I'm happy it's one of these two. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, the garbage sauce was Iron Root. Is, is it? What's that? What's this is number? number two. Is that number two? Dude, I'm telling you, it was like garbage juice with red hots. It's kind of like it was, if you mixed it was wild turkey with a Robitussin, maybe? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. It smells good. It is. It smells. Does it smell like Red Hots too, though? It smells very cinnamon -y, -y, y No, I don't get red. Uh, I don't know. I'm glad the, the camera bad. hasn't failed yet. So there's that. Well, maybe you should do your. Okay, so we're going to. Okay. You want to put your arm in there? You can't, you can't see. You can just see your arm. I'm just. How do I do it without messing it up? Like how, what are we doing here? How do you spin it? You just tap it? Uh, no problem. So we're. Okay, people, we're going to spin it. We probably tap shuffle, right in the center of it. Shuffle. She, shuffled, she shuffled it. She shuffled it. Dickle is Dickle. Oh, Dickle is a RC Rough Creek 5 to 7 year MGP. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. We're right here. This is here. the camera. This is mm -hmm. the camera right, right here. there. Yep. Okay, so we're like, you guys ready to shuffle? Okay, well, she's going to tap it right in the middle. This is the way we're doing it today. Let's go. Everybody is on there. There we go. This is fancy. Everybody right here. shuffling. Who we get? Here we got. Oh. Focus, Daniel's son. Mr. Lopez! What? what? You know what? what? I, th I think it's karma. He didn't say filthy Rick today, so it's karma. He's there getting, you go. He's getting paid back well. There you go. Doing that. Didn't say filthy Rick. That's what's up. So yeah. there you go. Being a good person pays. Mr. Lopez wins. Hey, Mr. Lopez. So that's that's what you want. A 375 of a store pick of a Buffalo Trace single barrel from NorCal Liquor. Right on, yeah. Jeff Castle, garbage juice will live on forever. So Jeff Castle, like I said, you're you're getting the the uh, 750 from uh, from this guy right here. So a hey, and I did. I'm over. I'm at. Dude, I'm at. Finally, he says. Yeah, right. <laughs> is that, finally. Is that all you're doing? That's all. That's all we're doing. That's all for tonight. But I got more of those to give away. Just not tonight. Right. I bought a bunch of those. Thank you, Mrs. Badax. Four giveaways. Awesome. 
Thank you, Mrs. Bag. So, is there a way you can save that? <laughs> the That's what I was gonna say. I'm like, like a screenshot of it? No, no, no. I mean, you can save it in there. I'm gonna save the um all the yeah. Patreon people. Yes, yes. Nice. So she's saving all the Patreon people. So I want to do. Oh, but you know what? Now it's all. I should have copied it. We'll oh, we'll get it. so actually we'll go to Patreon. You I need have, an intern. I need an intern. Anyone interested in interning? She, I got a she lot of stuff up. going on, people. I, and I want to see. She I awesome. need an intern. We can split an intern. intern. I need a wife. I, I need, yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh my goodness! But there's a lot of stuff, a lot of big stuff I want to do. I want to do. I am going to do. Not this month. I know. I want. I want to make sure the camera has stayed. Stayed on, so I want to make sure I had that worked out and had the uh, the sound worked out. So, how is the sound? Is the sound good for everybody? Because I want the sound's got to be dialed in, the video's got to be dialed in. Because I do want to do a giveaway, a, a fundraiser giveaway for the Elisa Ann Roosh Burn Foundation, is uh, near where I work uh, uh, in the Bay Area, yeah. and we uh, my fire department does a we they do a, a drive. To raise money for them every year, so I would like to raise money as much as like I would like to raise more money through this than my department raises. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I would love to do that. And and Nancy said that she's going to get involved. She's going to get her pe you know, people that she knows involved. So and awesome. of course, anything you guys want to do, don't we'll be taking a bottle of donations and all that because we want to raise as much money as we can for uh, the Burn Foundation, which sends mainly burned kids children to like it's called a burn camp it teaches them how to live with their burns you know stuff. psychologically and all that stuff and I'll, i've talked to them already and i'll have someone from there keith p you'll be into this uh i've talked to him. he'll he'll i'll have him come on he can explain what they do and as as a guest and all that i've got other a few more people i want to get a few people lined up to come on as guests i don't know if you guys have Heard of Monkey Colt Coffee? Go check out Monkey Colt Coffee. He wants to be involved in it. He gives stuff to uh, like a pediatric cancer foundation. So he's into this stuff too. So I do, I want to do a fundraiser. I want to, I've got a lot of subscribers now. I want to be able to use that for something good, right? I want to, of course we want to, we're going to be drinking whiskey the whole time. So there's that. And I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this guy's going to be in here and be involved with it. Uh, with it's a good it. assumption. It's a good assumption, yeah. I, so we'll be have bottle giveaways and all that stuff, and we'll start taking it. If you guys want to start throwing donations, bottle donations towards me, go for it. Badaxbourbon at gmail.com. I should put that on here. Oh! Badaxbourbon. Okay, he's got it. Bourbon oh, at gmail.com. Oh, my gosh. Wow, Big Daddy. What happened? Just did a hundred dollars for the burn charity. Oh, dude, that is amazing, dude. So that will go. I will. That's amazing, Big Daddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is amazing. You are, dude, Big Daddy. Oh my goodness, dude. Thank you so much. That is going to get. That's going to get pushed over, pushed over to the side. That'll get set aside. My goodness, dude. That's awesome. See, all I do is just mention it. That's awesome. This, what a community. This. Exactly what I was going to say. This community is absolutely incredible. And that's why I've been kind of keeping on the down low on the DL so far because I know. It's Gmail. You're not like at Netscape still. No, right? dude. Oh, well, it's all like, you know, bad axe, bad axe bourbon at gmail.com. I actually have a website. Bad, I have badaxbourbon.com. I didn't even know that. I do. But okay. I. I need someone to. I need, you need someone. An intern. I need an intern. <laughs> I need interns. I need to know how to use it. I want to use it, but I want to use it correctly. I want it to be a hub for stuff. But because I got merch and all that stuff, I only have good merch and all that stuff. I got. I got all these ideas, people. All this stuff. But I need. Uh, I need help. <laughs> I need help. Man, I need major, time and help. Major kudos to Big Daddy. That was awesome. Yeah. 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 You are a man, Big Daddy. Yeah, man. You, yeah. Wow. Wow. Super cool. See, that, and, and that is why this in community, in community is so incredible. That's why I haven't just said, hey, we're doing, hey, 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 hey. I got to get a date set up with the Burn Foundation because I know as soon as I 
I say, here's the date, a hey, come on, let's do this. It's going to be that is going to, uh, it's going to be this, the dam is going to break and we're going to get all these, uh, a lot of donations uh, just like that. And people are going to want to be involved. And uh, so I, uh, another reason I love this community, this community is incredible. We have fun. We talk about all this stuff, but there's real life, right? There's real, real people out here. We can do this and give back and I, I'm a fireman, right? I want, I want to help people. So if I can do this, if I can do what I, I love doing this, but I love helping people too. So I can, if I can do this and help people, why wouldn't I do that? 100%. So I know this guy, this guy loves helping people too. So that's what we're going to, what, what month is it? April? April, yeah. April, May. I mean, I don't know, should I shoot? I'm, I'm see now you, I'll, I'll talk to the Burn Foundation and say, hey, end of May or uh, what's that, June? Yeah. Is it beginning of June yeah, is a sure. good time? June's a good time. Be beginning of June. Maybe the first couple of weeks of June, I'm going to throw that at the Burn it's Foundation. Some t-shirts, though. Is it, well, then I'll need to talk to uh, right, Chris. Chris. KJ. So and, and maybe get that going on yep. and get some specific shirts for that. Do we take Lopez's Buffalo Trace bottle back? Because he said he did say filthy brick a couple of times and I missed it. Oh, so man. It, so it, that was, it, was it, cool. Was it a you, win? you slid it in. You think it's conditional? Okay. <laughs> you can't take it. Hey, I'll give it to you because I think it's funny. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, so what's the, what's the complete order then? So this is the, we're going to go through this. That's the iron root. So I'm going to put it okay, in. Yeah, I'll put them in order. I'll put them in order. That was terrible the first time I had it, Man. which was really disappointing because it's a pick. That's a pick, people. A specs pick. Mm -hmm. And I've got other iron root stuff, Harbinger, that's absolutely delicious. That one is garbage. So unbent was oh second, it is this way okay unbent was second worst okay that's it that's your lineup okay. right there these two I didn't know which order I I figured I knew these were the top two and I think I I figured this was the the number one because of the it was more caramel mm -hmm. I remember getting more caramel before so that's I just didn't know the order of these two. <laughs> Whether you win by a win, inch, a win. Whether you yeah. win by an inch or a, a mile, a mile. Winning, is winning. That's right. winning is winning. That is absolutely correct, dude. Oh, that is, that is funny, Lopez. Austin I was wrong. Like I thought that unbent would have been a little better. So, uh, you know what? Now that I know that this is the unbent, it was it was really good while I was there, but it, it wasn't wait, going up wait, against I, all these. Either. I thought you had the bent bottle when you were there, not the unbent. I do have. No, no, no. We don't Hold have up. to. No, no. Just... I'm gonna grab the. I have, I have that one. That's. I'll it's, get it. it's a five. It's called. It's the five. It, it's it's in the, it's in the uh, it's in the speakeasy. Yeah. It's the only bottle. Probably the only bottle on that barrel stand. Does it say Vince? Yeah, it's got a big number. It's the one I gave you too. Okay. I'll find it. Yeah. So there's a. So there's another bent bottle. So this is Bent Distillery in Texas, Louisville, Texas. Great place. Great people. Here's it was an incredible experience. It is great. You should do the unbent in a weeded or whiskey blind. Just, yeah, that's right it. Here. And that was a, a, not even not even open. Oh, fresh crack. So here we go. Okay, so this. Okay, so these. I can go ahead and. This is a blend. I'm gonna blend I'm gonna, this one's garbage. I don't even want to taint that shit. You said taint. Taint. I said I did say taint. So this is a uh, American whiskey, so it's not a bourbon. <clears throat> so they met though they merged bourbon, rye, malt, wheat, and light whiskey. So, Interesting. So so there's four bottling bonds that they have. They have this wheated, they have a, a rye, a bourbon, and uh, shoot, what else? A, a, a wheat, a rye, a bourbon, malted, malt, and a malted. And then they, then this, then they also added a light. They're all hundred proof. Then they added a light whiskey to it. That's what this is right here. So on the back it says it even says it right here, and that's why it's called number five because it's a blend of five. So it's their bourbon whiskey, their rye whiskey, their malt whiskey, their wheat whiskey, and then a light whiskey. So the light whiskey is the only one they don't have as a, a bald and bond. I got that, Carl. That was awesome. What do you say here? Nothing. I forgot. Keep going. What? 
Glad. You don't want to go back and see this, right? All right, so I'm gonna we're gonna fresh crack this right here and see what we get here. You're gonna have some? Yeah, I'm gonna have just a, just a tiny. T oh, dude, it's a screw top. <laughs> it's already it's, it's already not going good. Fresh unscrew, freaking screw top. Come on, man, come on. It's American whiskey. I'm not liking the bottle smell, actually. You got something empty over there? I'll just, just, just a scotch. Just, just, just a touch. Good. Yeah, just a, just a taste. Just a taste. Oh, good nose. Huh? Think so? Oh, I shoot. think so. Oh, shoot, which one is it? <laughs> Here, it's probably, Ooh. yeah, Ooh. yeah, it's Ooh. that. Look at the yeah, color. that. Yeah. Let's get these out of the way here. Oh, ew. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ew. Really? I'm uh. a. <laughs> <laughs> it is a super fresh crack, I will say that. Maybe in the, uh, I, I haven't tasted it yet. I'm going to have to come back to that one in about two weeks <laughs> to two years or two decades. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna give it a second. We're gonna give it yeah. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! So top distilleries to visit in Texas: Still Austin, hands down number one. Rebecca Creek, maybe arguably a tie for number two. Yeah. You were not being fair because we didn't go. To, you didn't, couldn't go to, into Milan. I could, I could. They weren't open. They, they were. were open. They were open like in, in an hour. I'm like, oh, we well, what time did you ready. get there? At seven in the morning. Yeah, we were there at nine, dude. Nine? Were they at banker yeah, hours? Yeah, I know, dude. That's what was killing me. I'm like, they're our age. Really? What is it, like Gen Z? Gen Z hours? No right? offense. No offense, guys. So. No, complete offense. Come on, <laughs> wake up. Be be a person. Showing up, showing up at ten thirty, getting off at two thirty. I just nose isn't. I mean, it's kind of. <laughs> Mr. Lopez, yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, not funky. good. Yeah. Any of anybody that's seen? What's uh, up, Tillers? What was that movie? Bill Bellamy and Bernie Mac were in. Oh. Bernie Mac, man. He's, you remember that's Bernie That's got to be an old movie, dude. He's been, he been DED for so, like about so, 10 so, years. Somebody's going to get my reference. I'm, I'm going to – all right, let's bet. Let's bet right now. I is will it gonna say – It's going to be Carl I'm gonna say this. Lopez. It's going to get I'm, my reference. I'm going to say this. Let's see. This is not awesome, but I am going to say it's better than that. <laughs> better than that. Oh, how does it compare uh, – so how does what compare to Fighting Cock? Fine cock bourbon or rye? Let's get out of here now. <laughs> you, do you have any fighting cock? <laughs> bourbon or rye? I have the rye. I've had the bourbon, but I've had a rye. This guy. So he so his intake has has been less lately because he's gotta do a little less with his with his leg. Oh man, Keith, are you at work, man? Because you must be running calls, dude. Okay, so everybody, keep Keith P uh, in your thoughts and prayers because he must be at work because he's like me when I'm at work. He's in and out, in and out of the uh, the chat because he's probably running calls. There you go, B B E N D T Bent, Louisville. Keith P, it's uh, still Austin. Nancy Nancy Fraley pick won the won the blind. Number two, close number two was Rebecca Creek. Not a not this a tastes really young, dude. Yep. This is really young. Yeah, it's, it's so young. Maybe you should go back in the in the barrel and age. Yeah, young and sugary. I'm going to say, oh, right on, man. Hey, way more important, dude. Way more important, man. Keep keep the wife happy. We all know that uh, that moniker there. What time? I'm gonna go right up in the middle there. I'm gonna go 138. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, it call. We're gonna wrap this thing up. So you guys want to tell us what you're sipping on real quick. We're going to wrap this sucker up. Good to see you yeah. guys. I'll see you next time. Okay, so. Right on, man. Cool. We are going to wrap this sucker up. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming uh, in here. And, hey, the kid, Lopez, badaxbourbon at gmail.com. Send me your address, brother, so I can send you this, this bottle right here. All right? Jeff Castle, yours is on the way.
Right, and go over and uh, start watching a bourbon wrench, and then Sean, a whiskey wars, or mashing metal after that. Oh, you were on the engine yesterday. I, dude, I just got off this morning, so I got, I'm, dude, I, I don't know what schedule you work, but I'm, a, I'm on a four day right now. Whiskey Nature, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. So, what do you guys think that uh, my uh, Keith P knows, if, even with his schedule, if it's not a 4896 like we work here? Then uh, what do you think about he and I sharing a time slot where you're either going to get his channel or my channel, but you either get one of us or both of us, most of the time probably both of us, with my schedule where there's going to be at least two weeks in a row that I won't be able, that's why I don't have a time slot nailed down. And that's what's that's killing me right now is... I, it would be nice guy. Everybody else, everybody else on the whiskey tube that's got a regular nine to five job has a time slot, right? That there you can expect to see them at a certain time of the week on on their live stream. I would like to do that, but I don't have a nine to five job. I have a my job rotates days back. I mean, if I work Monday, Tuesday this week, I'm gonna work Sunday, Monday the next week. Then I'm gonna work uh, Saturday, Sunday the week after that. That's just the way my job works. So I can't have a specific day. Okay. So we are going to... Hey, let me know what you think about that. And we are going to jump out of here, people. I appreciate you, everybody, uh, coming out and participating. Right on. Hey, have a great night. Go go jump on... A, the Bourbon Ranch live stream or Sean from Whiskey Wars or Mash and Metal. All right, people, we are out. See you.